Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today, I actually want to share something with you guys. So I decided, um, and I've been working on this for probably two or three weeks now and thinking about it and trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do, but I am going to start a weekly collage challenge. And this is the exciting part. It is going to be bingo. So the way we're going to do it is the name of it is Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. And what we have, as you know, in bingo, you have uh, balls one uh, numbered from 1 to 75. So you will need those numbers in some form. So what I have here is one of these handy dandy things here for the bingo. All right, so that is the cage bingo. So you can have this, and where did my ball go back? Let's put my ball back. So you can do it that way and roll out your numbers, or if you have an old bingo such as this, you can just spin and see what number it lands on. So like this one landed on six, so I would look at my prompts, and under number six, the prompt is actually free. Now, when it says free, it means you're free to choose whatever it is you want to put on your collage page for number six. So, right now, we would have a free. And let's go ahead and get one out of here. So, let's say ball one. You're going to do five balls. So, this challenge will run once a week for uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40. 15 weeks. Okay. So, each week, you will pick five numbers. So, this number here is, and of course, if you get duplicates, you'll want to put it aside, 16. So, number 16 is an illustration. So, that's my second prompt. So, so far, I have free and illustration. Okay. So, that covers the cage ball. It covers the little spinny willy thing here. Or, you can just take pieces of paper and cut them up, uh, little tags and cut them up, I mean like teeny tiny little labels and things like that. You just need the number 1 through 75 uh, and a way to pick your number. So you could put them in a hat and draw them out. Um, you know, make it fun, make it fun. Or we also, Mr. Llama Box is going to help us here. So this is three different vintage games, uh, bingo games that I have actually acquired. Um, and then these are just little wooden blocks with all of the numbers on them. So if you have those, you could use those. So I'm just going to put those in Mr. Llama. Sorry about that. It was loud. Give it a shake. Kind of cover it up. Reach down in there and grab one. And we have 17. So 17 is something pink. So, so far we have free, an illustration, and something pink. So that's where we are right now. And you do want to make sure uh, each time you draw out a ball that you actually take that one out. Um, that way you won't be getting those duplicates. So, you could do a mixture of these things like I am. I think every week I will do, like maybe, um, let's see, today we'll finish playing around, but maybe next time we'll do all the numbers from the cage, and then maybe the next time do the spinner, and then maybe the next time do this, and I may even venture out and just, you know, make up some kind of labels or numbers or whatever just to fold and put in a hat. So, whatever it is you want to do to make it fun, um, I certainly look forward to seeing your ideas. All right, so we have three, right? So we have, of course, you'll want to keep up with it, which I'm not doing, but maybe I could stay on track. Um, six, 16, and what did we say? 17. So we need two more numbers, so I'm just going to spin here. And we got 32. So it is three pages of prompts here. I already have them down in numbers. Book pages. So now we have book pages. And we need one more number. So we're just going to do the little rolly ball. See what comes out. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is, guys, 67. I guess I could be writing these down. I probably need to do that. That way I could go ahead and, when we get done with this, pause you guys. Okay, so we have 67, and 67 is free. Yay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, our first one was a 6, and it's a free. So, I get to pick two of whatever it is I want to go on my collage page. Okay, what was the other one? We had uh, 32. 
which was book page. And then we had 17, something pink. I like that. Sure, I could find something pink. And then we had uh, the free. I've got the free, right? How many have we draw drawn? 32, 67, 6, 16. You guys were screaming at me, right? An illustration. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is week 1. And we have 5 numbers. So, now what you would do is just go and gather these items. And pick out the stuff for your collage. And then just collage. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. So, these balls have been drawn. Let's stick those in there. For the time being. So, guys, yes, I'm really, really excited about this. I hope you guys will be excited about this as well. Um, what I think I may do, you should be able to pause the video and maybe still see the prompts. Um, I'm not really, you know, computer savvy or anything like that. But, so I'm not sure how to get you guys the prompts. But what I will do is if you will go over to um, my Facebook page and I will leave a link below. Uh, it is a public page, and it is just my regular old name, which is Lori Edwards. So, Lori, L-O-R-I-E, last name is Edwards, just how it sounds. Um, you should be able to. I'm going to take pictures. So, there's three of them with all the prompts on them, numbers 1 through 75. And it is Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge Prompts. You just click on it, uh, print it out, just click on it, write it down, look at it, and write it down. But that's how you'll get the prompts until, you know, I get more computer savvy, which might not happen anytime soon. Because it took me a year and a half to figure out that I could uh, scan something on my Chromebook from my printer. So there's that. And then down here at the very bottom, at the very end, it just pretty much... Um, gives you the instructions. It says roll, pick, or spin five different numbers. Write down your five numbers slash prompts. Collect your items and collage away. Have fun. So I really, really hope that you guys will join me with this. And furthermore, that you will have a good time when doing it. And we are going to use a hashtag. So whether you do YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. We're just going to do hashtag enchanted all one word bingo collage challenge so that will be the hashtag for this and again it's five numbers it's once a week and it runs for 15 weeks so that we can get through all 75 numbers so i am super super excited i really really do hope that um you guys will join me for this challenge um I think what I'm going to do is, uh, first I'll show you the, the book that I'm going to be using and give you some ideas of how you can do it, which I'm sure you all know. I mean, I'm nobody be telling you guys how to do it, but um, yeah, so what I'll do after I show you my book and what I'm going to use for this challenge, um, I will pause you guys, I will gather my items, and I will come right back. That way we can just go ahead and get all this first collage done in one video. So... What I decided to do was I had bought this book at a thrift store. And it's kind of a weird book, so we're going to cover this up. Because it says, The Hunter's World, Waterman, a Ridge Press book, Random House. So this is actually, yeah, so that was, you know, me trying to figure it all out, guys. Coming up with my prompts. And this, I think, is to sit the little balls on from the roll cage. So we'll just sit that over there. So anyway, fell in love with this part of the cover. Um, it's got some texture to it. It feels really nice. So what I did was went in and tore out pages. And this is going to end up being like an altered book. Um, so you can see right here, you know, where I've thinned it out. Because we got to have room for all of our goodies to go in there. And this one is, it looks like, a, how is that, 11, 11 by almost 9. Yeah, so it's right at 11 by 9. Um, so again, I just did mine as a, um, and some of these spines, like I didn't break this stuff, but it's actually like sewn in there with that thread, whatever you call that. 
Um, so what I'll probably be doing on these pages where I tore those out is just put glue a little strip of something down through here. That way it will just strengthen that up some um, and we won't have to worry about it tearing apart. But yeah, so this is going to be um, my journal, if you will, for our um, Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. And I see, yeah, there's a lot of these images. See, he's, yeah, shooting something. All right, so we're going to get all that covered up. But this is the book that I'm going to use. You can also make like a true junk journal um, with, you know, scrap junk mail, scrap pieces of paper, envelopes, all that stuff. Of course, you can make a, um, just like a regular TN. You can do just uh, plain sheets of paper. I like to use these. This was, uh, I think, from a thrift store, and it's just the um, coffee table books with the really big pages on them, and you could just collage that, and that'll be your collage. So you guys do whatever makes you happy, whatever your heart desires there. So I am going to go ahead and pause you guys and go and collect my items, and we will come back and do our very first Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. Be right back, guys. <laughs> 